The Velvet Note's a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your very own living room. What we try to do here is bring down the wall that often exists between artists and audiences. We give you a chance to get to know the artist. You're always guaranteed a chance to meet the artist. And we also want you to hear the music the way that it was meant to be heard. We have the best jazz performers in the world who perform here. Uh, Grammy winners, people who are legends in the jazz field. And all you have to do is go right down the street. Here, you're able to see them and they're right in front of you. They're an arm's length away from you. It's like they're performing a private concert for you and the people you love. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Happy Friday, music lovers. This is Tamara Fuller from The Velvet Note, and we have another Happy Friday for you with Brady Speller and Climate Change. Brady Speller considers himself to be fortunate to have been personally mentored by and to have performed with Cecil Taylor, Herbie Hancock, Joe Zawinul, and Wayne Shorter. After decades of behind-the-scenes shedding and numerous performances throughout the world, Brady Speller is bringing his unique brand of social music and powerful performances to the Velvet Note. Social music is that kind of music that makes you want to dance, to turn to your neighbor and smile, to interact with others while you're enjoying it. His first release, Beams of Light, contains original music that pays tribute to the spirit and the styles of the acoustic and eclectic age of his mentors. Sit back, enjoy the show, and don't forget, dancing is strongly encouraged. Hi everybody, this is Brady Speller with Climate Change. I want to thank you all for listening to the show tonight, streaming through the Velvet Note in Alpharetta, Georgia. We had a blast doing that show that night. We believe the audience had a great time as well. So I want to encourage you all to support the Velvet Note with the donation. Keep the music alive. Keep it going, especially during these difficult times. Any help is appreciated. And so I want to thank you all again for watching. Check us out, Brady Spell and Climate Change at climatechangeband.com. Appreciate you all. God bless you. Tamara, Tamara, thank you for the opportunity for us to be able to perform for you guys tonight. Really appreciate it. My name is Brady Speller. This is Climate Change. There's a long story behind the name. A long time ago, I played with a band called Weather Report. Yeah. It's the most magical time of my life. And I've got my brother over here, Mel Speller. We're 10 minutes, 10 months apart, so today we both are 66 years old. We're not twins. <laughs> so, so what do you call that? An anxious father. <laughs> anyway, I've got, I'm, I'm blessed to have some talented musicians from the Atlanta area here tonight. Duane Bosman. Saxophone extraordinaires on side skip go on hand. We've got Christopher Malloy, 
Christopher is a violinist sitting in with us tonight. He's a young boy ready to rock and roll. Tickling the keys for us tonight. We are blessed to have a master composer, producer, major, pianist that does everything, Mr. Jody Mayfield. I have called this gentleman, who I've known for the last 10 years, the baddest bass player this side of the Milky Way galaxy. He knows, he don't know it, but I know it that he is. Joel Powell, right here from Georgia, bass man. And we are blessed tonight to have a firebrand drummer. This young brother's name is Terrell Sass. He's been up for Grammys. He's played with the top people in the world, all the hip hop artists, all the R&B artists. And I am very fortunate to have him with me tonight. Terrell Sass on drums. Okay, so we're gonna get with it. And whatever we want play, we play. Y'all ready for that? Yeah. You know, don't, don't let me say that because I might take you someplace you haven't been before.
Can you hear me? Yeah, thank you. The name of that song was Flashcard. And the one prior to that was the first piece we did called Serio. It's off of my new album, Beams of Light. We have it on sale in the back. $10 per CD, per CD support the local musicians. <laughs> Those two songs were written by a very, very dear friend of mine named Walter Bland. Walter is a master composer, absolute brilliant genius when it comes to writing songs. So the depth and the complexity of some of the stuff he does just is inspiring. So I wanted to include, he wrote those two pieces and a few more on the CD. That the first one was called Serio and the last one was called Flash Card. Tonight we're dedicating music to the masters that we've all been influenced by. Miles Davis, Herbie Hancock, Joe Zavano, Weather Report, Wayne Shorter, Grover Washington Jr., and another gentleman you may or may not be familiar with, his name is John Lucien. Okay, so the story behind all of this, <laughs> then I'm gonna stop talking and start playing, but the story is, when I was a young man, I was playing with a gentleman by the name of Cecil Taylor, then I went from Cecil Taylor to Weather Report, and I prophesied, and I used the word prophesied firmly because that's what I did. I told my brother, Melvin, that I was gonna play with Weather Report and he was gonna play with Herbie Hancock. 13 months when I spoke those words later, I was on stage with Weather Report. My brother called me up from Queens College and said, hey man, Herbie is in town, man. He's doing a, he's doing a workshop at my college, man. I think I'll go talk to him. <laughs> So he got the nerve and went downstairs to talk to Herbie. And Herbie said, man, you know, tell you and your brother, man, to come on out. I'm playing at a place out in Rosalind Heights called My Father's Place. That night, we met Herbie and we played with him. This was two weeks after his album Chameleon had just come out. Right, yeah, so some of y'all know Chameleon. Y'all know that, right? Oh, where you guys going? Where are you going? Okay, so. We're gonna start, we're gonna play Chameleon now. <laughs> D1, where you at, man? Let's go. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So anyway, that's the story. That's how I wanted to play with Weather Report, Melvin played with Herbie, and then I became good friends with Herbie, I'm mean, him, Tina Turner, and others for like 40 years. We're still good friends to this day. So tonight is dedicated to those musicians that I have a special relationship with each and every one of them. Thank you. Thank you. 
Gospel Jazz album, Behind Kind of Blue. Yeah, Herbie broke through on that one. Yeah, and uh, he's such a down-to-earth guy. Just as friendly as he can be, one of the nicest people you ever want to be around. I've been blessed to have him in my life for as long as he's been there. So let's hope that he continues his good health and his success, okay? All right, what we got for Miles Davis, y'all? No, no. no. We're going to do an all-traditional number for uh, the, 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 the baddest man to ever walk the planet in the 20th century to play a trumpet. Anybody disagree with that? <laughs> this was called All Blues by Miles Davis.
y'all like that one. Wow. You know, you never can go wrong with a only but a goodie. But I always said, if you're gonna play Miles' music, you better play it right. <laughs> Wayne Short had a, I mean, uh, Miles Davis had a saxophone player with him in one of his greatest bands. Wayne Shorter, 84 years old today, 85 in August. He's the, still killing it, one of the last living masters of the 20th century on horns. Sonny Rollins is still alive, right? Yeah. But Wayne Shorter is a, he's a killer. Wayne is a great composer. A lot of people don't recognize that he wrote a lot of Miles' of songs. He's working on an opera right now, the last I checked. But we're going to dedicate this particular song that he wrote for Miles' album called Miles Smiles. The song is called Footprints.
Like the man said, that was called footprints. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ask Chris to join us again. This uh, Joe Zav, of course, everybody knows who Joe Zav is, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Yosef Zawinul from Vienna, Austria. One of the greatest composers of the 20th century. He wrote a big hit for Cannonball Adderley called Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Remember that? Yeah. All us old school folk, we know about that one. What you know about that? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, in the time that I had to play with Joe, one of the things that I noticed is that every time, I would always be sitting right next to him. And his shoulders would be going like this. So I want all y'all to follow my lead. And we're gonna do the Joe Zod tonight. Joe Zod, Joe Zod baby. You got, you, got, you, got, you got a feeling up there. And it doesn't have to be, it's effortless because when the rhythm hits you and the funk gets you, you're gonna to wanna to say, oh, hey, Joe Zod.
Music rests with the drums. This young man, I love him. Terrell Sass. Yeah. I'm Brady Speller. I think we're going to what? 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 Come on, what time? We're going to play as long as you want. Oh! Oh! Now I got your attention, huh? Shout out. I don't know who y'all are on this first table right here. But boy, y'all are giving us some energy in this house. I love it. I love it. Everybody from the front to the back say, oh, 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 hey, hey, oh, 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 I said that, oh, go ahead, break it down, oh. Y'all know this one. Come on now. All right, all right. Bang, bang, put it up, chuck the bucket to the book of the bead. Now what you get is not a tip. I know right the rule now. <laughs> See, I am one to mark and I like to say hello. Celebrate great music with the lovely sounds 
of climate change. Kick back, relax. If you don't have a drink, go ahead and get you a drink. I know you're taking care of your waiters. Get some food and enjoy. Yes, yes. They're going hip hop now. You're now about to be wooed by the sounds of the roots. Erica Badu, baby, you got me. Dedicated to Miss Shanila Hill Barnes.
so fresh and clean. Just so fresh and clean. Nobody don't touch me. I'm just so so fresh and so clean, clean. Just so fresh and clean. Nobody don't touch me. I'm just so fresh and clean. Yeah. So clean, clean. Oh yeah! So is so clean. It's on YouTube. Check it out. And Brian kept saying the word jazz. And Miles is sitting there with his trumpet looking at Brian. He's like, Brian, I don't like that word jazz. You know? Well, what would you call it? I call it social music. Social music. We now have social media. We got social networking, and I'm bringing to you for the 21st century what Miles in 1982 calls social music. So when you see the hashtag social music, think of your boy here. <laughs> I want to introduce somebody very dear, very close to my heart close to my flesh and my blood. We're only 10 months apart. And um, while I was living in Los Angeles, see, I'm the oldest of three boys, so I never had a big brother. Well, this one guy took me under his wing, even more so than Herbie and Wayne. And he was from the island of St. Thomas. And um, back in 1976, he had a blast album called Song for My Lady. There was a song up there that he did called Soulmate that is one of the most exquisite rhythmic percussion vocal pieces I've ever heard in my life. That big brother of mine's name is John Lucien. One drink to John tonight. John passed away at the age of 65 in August of 2007. We went to the um, memorial service, but I gotta tell you, the time that I was in Africa, every time I thought about John, I had tears in my eyes because he touched my life in such a way that nobody else ever did. He was my big brother. And no matter where he was on the world, running from the police or whatever, <laughs> John would give me a call or send me a postcard from Puerto Rico or wherever he was. And I love him to this day. So I asked my brother Melvin to do this song justice. The song is called Soulmate. This is my brother Melvin Speller. Hey folks, how y'all doing? Yeah, thank you. How about it for these wonderful music? Yes, we're doing it right tonight. We're doing it right tonight. Let me tell you. John Lucien was such a great guy. He had that island flavor. He had that movement, that island flavor. Now give me some reverb. So uh, we called him Blue. He's a great guy. He went too fast. But we're going to do this song for you. <laughs> But a bum 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 bum
Now that I have you here, it's like spending a lifetime with you. Autumn, winter, and spring doesn't really exist. When I look in your eyes, I can see your smile, my soulmate. When I see your dreams, nothing comes between about me. Oh, but I don't recall knowing that smile on your face. Though your eyes say I've known you so well. I don't recall how you touched me from afar. With your eyes pensing straight through my brain. Oh. The world had just begun Could you be my soulmate? Could you be my soulmate? Trying to rescue me
Saturday Night Fair. Chris Boy, John Powell, Gerald Sass, I'm Brady Spuller. Thank you, everybody. Good night. God bless you all, and thank you so much.
Come on. Get down now. That's right. It's a party, y'all. It's a party, change it's a party. Thank you. 